Well, hello, hello, peeps. Today we're talking about some major improvements coming 10.2 and also some, uh, how would you say, I guess an obvious conspiracy, let's just call it like that. Um, improvements to the game, uh, let's just jump straight into it. The main thing that I want to talk about is um, the one thing that I've talked on previous, not just streams, but also, you know, previous, like, more negative videos about Blizzard and, like, the current state of the game, and that's, like, no PvP to PvE crossover as far as gearing is considered. This is completely being fixed, right? Now we're having complete crossover as far as just doing our PvE and PvP activities and having that uh, currency that we can then use to upgrade the gear. Now, of course, you don't care for upgrades for your PvP gear. I even think uh, uh, using honor to upgrade your gear is being removed. But again, you don't really care about that since you can use pretty much right all of that currency just to upgrade your PvE gear, right? You don't really care about your PvP gear. Maybe for open world... Um, like stuff maybe but like um it doesn't really matter right since ultimately uh, you just really care about the pve gear being upgradable by you doing pvp um stuff right another thing is that uh, this is definitely gonna make some people who enjoy doing the pvp but don't do it because it doesn't do anything for them in pve are gonna definitely jump back into doing some more pgs maybe even doing some rated content right uh, when they need to farm up some crests Okay, why not? Why go farm dungeons, right? I don't have my group on. I can just go do solo QBG, as we're going to talk about later. I can do some solo shuffle. I can do some twos, threes, whatever, right? Uh, the thing is, it's giving you finally that crossover from PvP and PvE, right? You finally, those both those um, activities kind of work towards uh, the same kind of uh, currency that you can then use to upgrade your gear. Now, do I think this is like the best system ever? No, but I think this is definitely better than what we've had before. I think it also is a system that kind of keeps the rage of the community in check. I don't think anybody's going to be angry at the fact that you can farm up some upgrades with PvP, right? Uh, you still are probably going to need to have uh, a certain amount of rating in PvE, right? In Mythic Plus to upgrade that gear. So I feel like those things don't really like uh, change, right? Anything, right? You can only... The only thing that really changes is... Now I can go to do PvP and farm myself some um, currency that matters in PvE, right? It's not just, oh, I do PvP, I get a useless honor, which doesn't, you know, do anything for you. Uh, and that's pretty much it as far as upgrades are considered. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Maybe you have something to say against. I really can't see anything against this system currently. Um, on to the solo queue battlegrounds. Now, as far as you ask, if you just ask me, I am kind of... Um, Angry that it takes such a long time to get these solo queue modes. Uh, I don't know why they just didn't uh, send it, right? Send it and test it out uh, at the beginning of the expansion or at the end of the last expansion, right? So I don't know why 2 versus 2 has not been tested yet. Uh, why, again, I know some people uh, cry about like um, balancing and stuff, right? In, in the 2's bracket, you might get, you know, the, you know, because of comps, right? I completely understand that. And certain classes are just doing better with other classes and certain classes needing like specific uh, compositions so i completely understand but still just as far as for fun i don't understand why it hasn't just been tested right we, they are still doing this as a brawl first but why haven't we gotten this like a year ago that's like the only thing that i'm like a little bit angry about because um it just feels like very slow to test these uh, things out in pvp right they are very quick uh, in releasing you know mythic plus content releasing raids right but why why do we wait an entire year just to get a mode right they're not making new content it's literally a mode right it's like the basic most basic things so i guess as far as that's considered i'm just, i i really hope this is gonna be good right as as far as like people's um happiness because it's that's really gonna what's gonna matter right how people are happy with this experience and i think there's no problems currently right now really things that make me think oh my god people are gonna hate this right especially if there's like a punishment for levers right and those things right people are not gonna get pissed off if you you know if there's grief protection let's call it like that now peeps i do have to inform you that only 4.3 percent of you are subscribed so if you have been enjoying the content please consider smashing that subscribe button now off to the conspiracy we're not going to discuss right now gladiator medallion all those things i'm making a different video for that uh, just stay in touch uh, for as far as that video is considered um the little conspiracy that i have so we're having an ahead of the curve achievement mount for the next raid here. We are also having a brawl, right? Solo queue brawl is being added and tested the, you know, in the game. Both of those things are things that generally happen at the end of the expansion. So the little obvious, I guess, conspiracy, so I'm calling it obvious, is 
uh, right, that we might be having uh, a kind of a shorter um, expansion than usual, right? 10.2 might be it, or we might have like a lesser uh, raid tier after 10.2. Um, again, um, just currently, that's like my little uh, obvious conspiracy. I think a lot, not, like some people have thought this as well. Like this is just kind of, yeah, this usually just happens at the end. Um, I'm currently like, I'm not sure again, because... Uh, you know, there might have been in the past where, you know, a certain thing has happened like this, right? Or you had like, um, like you know, a lesser rate tier afterwards, after like the ma main big rate tier. So we, we shall see, right? We are still kind of uh, left to see. I think there was like uh, after, right? You had Sunwell after TBC. You had like after the Wrath of the King. I can't remember. It was like one boss that got released. I'm pretty sure. But right. So that's about it. Um so I, I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit sussy. Now the thing why I'm he kind of happy about this, right, is because I think the, I wanted a new expansion to come. I wanted the kind of more overhaul changes coming to the game that kind of I feel like are necessary. Um, uh, visualists, etc. I think those things are coming, or at least I'm hoping those things are coming in the next expansion. I also think Dragonflight is kind of like um, story-wise mech, and there's like maybe some other things that... Uh, I just, yeah, I guess for me, just Dragon, Dragonflight is meh, let's say it like that. Um, again, really hopeful for the Blitz Brawl that people kind of enjoy it because I feel like uh, a lot of these things just kind of depend on people's like overall uh, experience. Like you, if you just have a niche community enjoying it, right, it's not going to live. You're not going to have fun playing and waiting a long queues. So I'm hoping that this kind of gets embraced by the community in general uh, maybe uh people who play pve who just like doing battlegrounds are finally gonna be like oh wait i can just go do some solo you know solo queue battleground i can grind up some conquest here mm, you know maybe they're gonna in get interested into the solo shuffle then so definitely definitely excited for these changes coming in tempo 2 so peeps i hope you've enjoyed this little video like comment subscribe all those things that youtubers want you to do and have a nice day